guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be sharing with you I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite Korean um, my favorite Korean skincare products and uh, most of these products are from yes style they're sold on yes style web website some of them are sold on wish trends some of them are sold on style vana where else do I get my Korean skincare yeah pretty much that's it usually most of my skincare actually come from yes style but I get some from wish trends directly from wish trends all right because I'm a yes style influencer wish trends influencer and so forth so sometimes I get one or two products to try out for free but usually I have to like purchase my skincare like period and I don't have a problem with it because my skin is very important to me okay yes but anyway I'm gonna share with you some Korean skincare products that I have been loving so far we're gonna start with cleansers toners essence and also serums moisturizer all right so first and foremost what I would I would say like when it comes to like skincare for my skin like when I just started out skincare I used to believe that I needed stronger ingredients and this is the reason why I didn't really when I was like having really severe acne issues not really acne more like hyperpigmentation issues I I didn't really want to focus I didn't really care about like Japanese skincare or whatever I didn't really care about that because I was like maybe whatever they have can treat their 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 own hyperpigmentation and their hyperpigmentation does not require the same products that my skin requires because i have a lot of melanin so their hyperpigmentation is more like redness a little bit of melasma a little bit of brown spot my my hyperpigmentation is just a lot of melanin push out tyrosinase like i need something that's going to inhibit it and work really fast my hyperpigmentation is intense like really dark spot and i need things that actually work and then for my acne i just always believe that like asians they take a they take a gentle approach to you know dealing with acne and so forth so i was always more i always gravitate towards like the western way of taking care of acne and also hyperpigmentation but you know after you know being like investing a lot of energy research into like korean skincare i realized that i was missing out and i have been you know brainwashed you know to believe that aggressive stuff stuff that work faster are actually better for the skin but the reality is stuff that works at a slower pace is actually good for the skin because all of these ingredients that can really that are so strong for the skin they can put the skin through shock mm -hmm, and cause even more problems and the side effects are going to be like greater but what we are doing what Koreans believe Asians Japanese believe they believe in taking care of the skin now like whatever ingredients they're they're going to use it's going to take care of the skin now and also it's going to take care of the skin for the future for you know when you're getting old and so forth so they're not going to plot you're not going to see them with skin that's or ingredients and they're not going to use ingredients that are going to like put the skin through like put the skin through a shock or anything like that all right so that's the reason why i prefer korean skincare and it shows it shows their skin how they look the older folks their skin is supple their skin looks healthier than us in the western world so i want to i want to take on that their philosophy their skin philosophy i want to take on their skin philosoph philosophy for my personal you know life or for my personal yeah for my personal life or for my personal health care or skin care you know what I'm saying yes because I don't want to only take care of my future my skin care right now I want to take care of for the fruits for the future why am I stuttering because my, my thoughts I have a lot of thoughts and my mouth is taking too long to you know deliver the thoughts but anyway my favorite cleansers or cleansing oil from Korea the ones that I've used so far what I think and one or two that I can recommend I'm gonna share them with you so the cleanser that I have been loving is the Pyongkang Yule um, low pH cleanser this one is a blue one and I have used this like twice in um, 
july august and i think september yes i was using this cleanser i really love it because it it is going to give you that amount of um exfoliation but it's not going to damage your your ph or you know, put your skin or make your skin um your skin barrier damaged basically so it's a nice amount of exfoliate gentle exfoliation but at the same time you're not having anything like scraping your skin or causing any kind of micro tears or anything so i love this cleanser for that and it was perfect during winter or warmer warmer months or when your skin feels really heavy and so forth then the next one that i would rec re recommend is the rovectin cream condition and conditioning cleanser this is my all-time favorite gentle cleanser you can use this during summer you can use it during winter it is just a good cleanser that removes dirt from the skin but at the same time extremely gentle for people with acne prone skin oily skin combination skin sensitive skin it is a cleanser that works and i have used like maybe six or seven bottles of this cleanser i love it and the reason why i don't repurchase this cleanser or i have repurchased it is because i want to try new stuff okay to see if i can fall in love with new stuff but this cleanser is my all-time favorite okay and maybe next month or two months from now you're gonna see me using it because it really does the job and i really like it all right then the next one that i would recommend is the cosar x salicylic acid cleanser this one has betaine salicylate or willow bark is it betaine salicylate willow bark basically it's a it's a kind of salicylic acid that is allowed in korea because they i think they don't allow two percent the regular two percent salicylic acid in korea so this one is the salicylic acid maybe in for salicylic acid it would be like one percent all right so it's the willow bark um salicylic um acid basically it is salicylic acid but at a gentle a gentler um, version of salicylic acid so it's going to really help to clean your pores and to remove all the dirt gunk and everything and it can be used every day all right so if you don't really like the salicylic acid from CeraVe or you can't get the salicylic acid from CeraVe this one is a good alternative okay and I really like it then the next one that I would recommend is a matcha hydrating cleanser. This one is from Big Labs. I would recommend this for fall going into winter months because of how it feels on the skin. And you can use it as a morning time cleanser. When it comes to the evening time cleanser, I would suggest, I would recommend it for people with dry or sensitive skin. But if you have um, acne prone skin and you have a lot of oil, you might need an oil cleanser if you're going to use the B Labs. But the B Labs Matcha Hydrating Cleanser is awesome. It felt good on the skin, didn't irritate me at all. And it, it just has this freshness when applied to the skin when you wash your face, just has this nice, fresh feel. And I just feel like I'm doing something good to my skin. And whenever my skin feels like irritated, whether being in the sun too long or just using or over exfoliating my skin or anything, this um, cleanser kind of just soothes it and calms it a little bit. I think that's what it does. It just makes my skin feel nice, refreshed and calm. Okay, not aggressive. So I like that. Any matcha hydration hydrating cleanser can actually do that i think they also have another a matcha hydrating cleanser not sure which brand but it's similar to the b labs so i'll link it if you want to find out yes so that cleanser is nice and i really love it and as i said before this is the clears deep gentle um black fresh cleansing oil i would recommend this i've used it and it is amazing and the reason why i haven't repurchased it is because i realized that the softimo um deep cleansing oil is the same is literally the same the same i realize it's the same so instead of buying this from korea and paying shipping i just bought i just bought the softy mo here and it's basically the same and because the softy mo comes in a recyclable um pouch i decide to put it in this so i'm i save this 
the Claire's um, bottle and I put my softy more in it and uh, whenever I'm ready I can purchase the Claire's again but I would say it is a very good cleansing oil and uh, a dupe is the softy mo cleansing oil deep cleansing oil so I like this then the next one that I would recommend is this cleansing balm is the I'm from um, cleansing balm this cleansing balm is amazing when I just started using it I was like I don't want to use it because I don't want it to finish because I realized that I really yeah so I realized that I really like the cleansing balm so I was like <sighs> It's going to finish soon and I don't want it to finish so I was like trying my best trying to use it sparingly just so that I don't finish it before you know time and well it's finished and it's a little bit it's a little bit you know I think it's like 20 US dollars or 18 something US and I usually don't spend that much money on like cleansing but my my the highest that I will spend is like maybe ten dollars on a cleansing balm or 15 but that one is it's nice I loved it so much and I think that it's a good cleansing balm if you're looking into like using a cleansing balm the only thing it is it has a little fragrance so if you're sensitive to fragrance maybe maybe you won't really like it but it, a, it doesn't really have a lot it has just has a little bit of fragrance just so that your the experience can be pleasant it's nice little the soft nice to fragrance it, it didn't irritate my skin though I don't really like when cleansing balms have fragrance or cleansing oils have fragrance though so but I would I would say it's a great cleansing balm because it removed my makeup it removed the dirt on my skin it just did a great job and I had a good experience and then the toner is now finished with the cleansing and cleansing oil the toners that I have experience i think that those are actually good toners or it is actually a good toner is the ha bha toner from some by me did an amazing job during summer i think that that toner is excellent for everyday toning all right so i think it's similar to the neogen the some by me um ha bha toner is similar to this one but the only difference with some by me is the some by me is a tad bit a tiny tiny bit more um, acidic so this one is mildly acidic the the, the HA some by me HMB just a tiny just maybe a little bit here acidic more acidic but I really enjoyed using it and I really love it and I would definitely recommend it if you have acne prone skin oily skin combination skin sensitive skin any kind of skin you can try it and you want to exfoliate try it it's a very good toner then the next toner that I am going to recommend I have done a review on this because of how it made my skin feel is the isn't tree green tea fresh toner that toner guys amazing toner and guess what whenever the time gets hot again your girl is going to have to get it I have not repurchased it because I got this toner from Element. It's Element Skin Activating Toner. And I realized it, it has green tea and skull cap in it, the Element Skin Activating Solution. And the Element Skin Activating Solution was similar to this one, with similar to the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. I think the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner has a little bit more green tea and it's, it works a little bit better. This toner, guys, when I had... When I was over exfoliating my skin with lactic acid and just my skin, my skin barrier was damaged. This toner, guys, it restored my skin barrier. My skin was a little bit oily, and that is the reason why I was trying to over exfoliate a lot because it was so oily because it was so hot. I started using this toner. I use it every single day, morning, noon, and night. And I'm telling, not noon, but morning and evening. But guys, it changed my skin. It changed my skin my skin wasn't producing a lot of oil my skin it soothed my skin it calmed my skin down and my skin just came back to its natural fresh beautiful state and I really love this toner and I would recommend it for people who have dry skin skin that is da damaged moisture barrier 
if you have acne prone skin and you want to calm those acne down soothe it and to take care of it this is intrigue green tea fresh toner is going to be your baby okay it's gonna be your favorite and i'm going to definitely recommend it and it is my it is one of my favorite um calming soothing hydrating toners literally okay right after it then it's the element skin skin activating solution because it works almost the same way all right then the next one that i would recommend is the fruitia blueberry x blueberry extract toner or essence this one now it has a little bit of fragrance but hear what when i i was using it during summer when i was using it it felt very hydrating and nice it felt refreshing i don't know if it's bl the blueberries in it but it was just very calming on my skin it's very lightweight it's not as viscous as for example this like this i can't use this during summer but that one the fruitier blueberry extract toner essence kind of toner i can use that during summer in the evenings in the mornings it just gave me a nice a boost of fresh of like hydrated feeling and my skin really enjoyed it during that time while i was using it so i would recommend it the blueberry one the blueberry one i'm not sure if the olive if the um if the others are the same but the blueberry one was amazing and i really enjoyed using it. it gave me a fresh nice supple feel my skin felt good and just the experience was overall a good one as i said before it has a fruit extract so it's supposed to have that little blueberry scent but it's a good smell you know it's nothing that it didn't irritate my skin and i have acne prone skin so yeah but it's not like super strong it's just like a fresh blueberry fresh scent so it's very calming and very soothing then the next one that i would recommend is the heart leaf 77 77 percent soothing toner it has hootonia cordata um, extract and also i would also recommend the sika care from rovectin the sika care and the sika care from rovectin and the heart leaf 77 percent 77 percent soothing toner are literally the same to be honest like the texture everything that toner now is a toner that you use in the morning it's similar to the green tea fresh toner from isn tree but the only thing is it is heart leaf it is hutonia cordata extract so it's a different kind of leaf that is being used but it gives you a similar feeling to the isn't tree green tea fresh toner so i would recommend that and i enjoyed using it and i use the entire bottle and guess what with this toner you get 200 ml so you can use it every single day every morning every evening every day of the week all right you're gonna get a nice boost of hydration and you're going to also protect your moisture barrier and also to help your skin to heal properly all right because every day you're putting onto your skin of course you know your skin is going to improve your skin your acne marks your texture and just like you know it prevents the bacteria that causes acne it helps to fight against that too it cleans your pores it cleans your skin all right the heart leaf toner it helps to do that yes to fight against the acne bacteria so i would recommend that if you have acne prone skin like myself okay then the next one i would recommend is this one here that i just finish using and i still have a little bit more that i'm currently going to use but i would recommend this one because of how it made my skin feel as i said before it's similar to the sun by me but it's a little bit tiny teeny maybe like two percent gentler than the sun by me i think because it has like lha and so forth and phas so I think it's similar to the sun by me based on my experience then the next one i would recommend from the same one neogen real fermented micro essence i would recommend the essence from neogen the essence from neogen would be similar to this one similar to the rovectin skin activating solution but i think the rovectin is a little bit a little bit more viscous meaning the texture is a little bit thicker than the fruity uh, than the neogen um uh, essence toner so yeah but they work the same way i think i think so 
okay yes so i would recommend the essence from neogen or the toner all right and the last thing that i would recommend in the toner essence category is the mandelic acid five percent toner from with strains or by with strains so i i love mandelic acid it's over there i was taking pictures i love the mandelic acid toner why because whenever I, I can't really go in with my glycolic acid from the ordinary whenever i feel like it's too strong or if a root if i'm if i want to use a specific routine if i want to use a specific product and i don't want to go in with too much aggressive or too much irritating acid i want to step it you know dial down a little bit step step down one step down you know when it comes to acid and irritation i go in with my mandelic acid toner and if your skin cannot manage a glycolic acid toner i would recommend a mandelic acid toner and the mandelic acid toner that is popular in the market right now is from biostrains that's the reason why i'm recommending it because it works the same way like glycolic acid but just gentler for people with with sensitive acne prone skin and skin that needs to be exfoliated so those are for the toners for the another essence that i would recommend is from pyongkang yul this is an essence toner i would recommend this if you want to try it for if you're in like warmer weathers so the fruitier blueberry extract is similar to this one to the pyongkang yul essence toner because of how like the viscosity how viscosity is it's not super thick like this but it's going to offer some hydration in the evenings if you want to go in with a hydrating um, essence before you go in with your watery moisturizer all right yes yeah, so it's going to it's going to work the same way i would recommend it because of how it made my skin feel and i really like it all right good and the next one that i would recommend is this one if you're in cold climates this is going to be your best friend okay your best friend i love this and i swear by this as you can tell the bottle is finished because it is actually good it is actually a very good essence toner it's thick enough for a winter it's thick enough for to hydrate the skin and even if you don't want to for example if it's if you're living in a warm climate and you don't want to go in with moisturizer because moisturizer makes your skin feel too oily this year is going to be your best friend because it's going to hydrate your skin so if you want to use this during the during summer and you want to hydrate your skin but at the same time you don't want your skin to feel oily you go in with this cleanse use this as your toner moisturize apply your serums and then apply your spf and you're good to go but this is my favorite i love it as you can tell so I think it's good I also think this one is a good toner too the the supple preparation toner from Claire's but just as I said before this one was the scented one so I used on my body after exfoliate with my glycolic acid I always use this to you know apply it to my legs so it's just you know it's not so irritated and so forth and then I apply my moisturizer so the unscented version is good and this is how the unscented version would look it's in a white bottle let me just open it's in a bottle like this but it's bigger it's a bigger bottle so this is how it would be so it is not as viscous as this but it's uh, it's similar in a sense it's similar but it's not as viscous as this one but it's good if like for fall months and so forth even summer if you as i said before if you don't want to add a moisturizer and just want to add um you just want to add your essence toner and then your sunscreen you can go in with that when it comes to serums i don't really have much serums that i can recommend because i have really used a lot my serums are usually from the ordinary and other skincare brands yeah because i yeah i just always choose the ordinary for my serums but when it comes to hydrating serum i would recommend a purita unscented recovery um 
recovery cream recovery serum it's similar to the recovery cream as i said before when my skin was irritated my moisture barrier was damaged i use my um my isn't tree green tree fresh toner along with my purita and scented recovery cream and that and then because of the experience with the recovery cream i went ahead and i bought the recovery um serum now the recovery serum up to this point i haven't really used it because i was planning to use it over um winter but winter has passed no winter hasn't passed i can use it but not now maybe march april maybe april going into may i'll use it but the purity unscented recovery serum will work the same way if you have damage moisture barrier if your skin is damaged if you just have acne and you have any kind of hyperpigmentation acne scars and, and you want your skin to recovery recover in a gentle way the midnight activating drop was actually very good it just made my skin feel the same way that the the granative retinoid from the ordinary when i use it and wake up in the mornings that is how my skin feels the midnight activating drops gave me that same feeling so i think it's a um it's a what do you call it again it's it's a it's an anti-aging ingredient just the same way that um vitamin a works this midnight activating drop just made my skin feel the same way and it just made my skin look good you know what i'm saying so i would definitely recommend this when it comes to like the skin anti-aging and so forth then the next thing that i would recommend is the bio wish trends a pure vitamin c the reason why vitamin c is excellent for hyperpigmentation this one is the pure vitamin c so if you want vitamin c with a lot of hydrating ingredients i don't want to go in with the ordinaries you can go in with this because i think they work the same way mm-hmm yeah it's gonna work the same way and it's pretty pretty stable if you store it and take care of it and use it up very quickly so i would recommend this the pure vitamin c from biowish trends and then the next one that i would recommend is the sting skin essentials aqua activating serum I would recommend that because I think it would be good for your skin it's going to be good for your skin and it's just a nice hydrating uh, serum that you need in your skincare and then the next one that I recommend is the make prem dark spot serum the make prem dark spot serum I've used this it has vitamin C it has tranexamic acid it, is a, it has licorice root it has niacinamide it has arbutin which is a beta arbutin not alpha arbutin but beta arbutin so it's a little bit weaker it has turmeric it has um, adenosine it has um, uh vitamin c basically so it has a lot of ingredients that are actually targeting hyperpigmentation so this is the reason why i would recommend it yes and uh, yeah it is a great ingredient to have in your skincare especially if you have hyperpigmentation and dark spots all right so i would recommend these four serums from uh, um, Korea or you can get them on yes style and those are all that I would recommend I would also recommend this the spot all kill cream from some by me and I would recommend this on the basis it's I like finish right now I would recommend this as your spot cream whenever you're applying your pimple patches so if you get a pimple that you that you know you it it popped and now it's open i would recommend applying this on it and put your pimple patches on it to take care of it this is going to give you to help your skin to restore and for example some the natural thing for you to do is to put like um benzyl peroxide underneath the pimple patch but i wouldn't necessarily recommend putting benzyl peroxide underneath the pimple patch when the pimple has healed you put the benzyl peroxide underneath the pimple patch before the pimple pops open and then after the pimple pops open you would apply this to the spot or the the healing wound so this will help it and uh, with the pimple patch and so forth it will encourage the skin to produce more to quickly heal itself without being damaged so i would recommend this for that all right 
And then the last thing that we're going to re recommend now is the moisturizer. When it comes to moisturizer, I would recommend the Sun By Me moisturizer because it is excellent. It is very lightweight, watery, perfect for summer. So if you have summer skin, if we're, when, or when you when we're in or some when we're in during summer, we have our summer skin, of course, because it's summer. So our skin is a little bit more oily and sweaty and so forth. This one is a water-based ingredient and it's also it also has AHAs and BHAs in them or in it. So it can help to moisturize your skin plus take care of you know if take care of the the, the, the extra um, dirt or the extra dead skin that will develop because of the environment and it's very lightweight perfect for hot weather as i said before then the next thing i would recommend is the cosier snail musin i would recommend this during fall winter month if you have acne prone skin this will work mm -hmm. cosier the snail musin if you have acne prone skin it will work okay if you have if it's fall during that you know dry period or you're skin barriers damage it will work or it it worked for me and i enjoyed it so i'm recommending it to you okay it was my favorite and then the next one that i recommend is the purita unscented recovery cream that is a bad boy that restored my skin i did a review on it if you want to go and check it out that restored my damaged moisture barrier and i would recommend it in a heartbeat okay i would recommend if you have damaged ba moisture barrier damaged skin purita unscented recovery cream i was using it throughout the year even during summer in jamaica hot jamaica and it didn't break up my skin the only thing it did was to give my skin a nice boost of hydration and it protected my skin barrier yes yes it recovered my skin literally along with my isn't you green tea fresh toner the purity unscented recovery cream and other skincare ingredients but those were the main you know main fighting forces when it comes to like restoring my skin back to its original state so i recommend that and then the purity unscented recovery cream the, the Clear's rich soothing cream kind of reminds me of the Purita Unscented Recovery Cream. But would if I was supposed to recommend one over the other, I would recommend Purita and then the Clear's. But the Clear's did a great job because I was using it for very long. As you can tell, it's finished because it did a good job all right and then the next one that i would recommend is from cosa x pure fit sika moisturizing cream that kind of reminds me of the purita and center recovery cream too so I, that's the reason why i recommend it and i think that it's actually a good um moisturizer then the next one i would recommend is the propolis light cream the propolis light cream and the sun by me are good for um summer or warmer weathers so i was using the Co the cosrx propolis light cream did an excellent job it felt good on my skin didn't feel irritating didn't feel poor clogging i could use it during summer months so i would recommend it and it was one of my favorite moisturizers during the time that i was using it and then the last one that i would recommend is from clears the clears all over lotion the clears all over lotion is it's similar to this one but the all over lotion it was a little bit more it wasn't as thick as this so it gave me like hydration all over my body so i think this that was a good moisturizer for the body it made my skin feel really good it really hydrated my skin and i use it all of what november december and it just finished in december so i didn't repurchase it but i would recommend it as an all over moisturizer if you have like cruffy skin cruffy skin joy if you have um dry skin or just overall irritated skin i would recommend that and those are the products that i would recommend from korea a lot of neogen a lot of what a lot of rovectin a lot of purito a lot of clears a lot of some by me's a lot of what what else did we recommend frudia and so forth so these are my korean Jap 
Japan, no, Korean uh, yes, style skincare that I have been enjoying. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's very long, but you know, I just had to do it. I had to do it. So, see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy this one. And don't forget to like, guys, subscribe. Yes, guys, as I was saying before, I was cut off, rudely cut off. But let me know what you're using. Let me know what Korean skincare you're using. I'd really like to know. Okay, but this is it for your girl. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Peace.